Good morning. This is Bill from Curious Cars on a, you know, it's a muggy and crappy Florida Thursday. It really is. You know, for mid-October, it should be a little less humid. It should be a little bit cooler, at least in my wishes it would be. And it's not. It's muggy. It's misty. Uh, the humidity is still with us. It's kind of a shame. There's the text coming in and the phone calls. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, Lord. All right, I'll pause it for a minute. All right, so now the phone is off again. You know, it is muggy. I could hear the birds around me. My glasses are fogging up, so if they come in for an attack, I'm not going to immediately see them, uh, which is a shame because I just read some magpies attacked a guy in Australia or something. You know, I made a post on a forum, a chat forum. Uh, I believe it was Reddit. Uh, it's where all the snowflakes hang out and, you know, post about all the misery that's happening in the world and how they're all doomed and everything's over and they may as well just give up now. And there was something on there about uh, some guy in Australia who was viciously attacked by magpies. So I would like to point out that this is possible and this is happening, okay? The birds are out there, they're pissed off, and God knows what they're going to do about it. Uh, also, at the end of this video, just for giggles. I'm probably going to put in this video I filmed the other day of a rabbit death match. I mean, if you see the ferocity of these rabbits, the viciousness of these rabbits, uh, you know, when they're coming after you instead of each other, you're not going to be real happy about that. And of course, uh, we have Ulf's duck attack to think about. And I guess that duck is gone, but now there's another duck uh, that's looking pretty threatening. So uh, I may still get Ulf to do an interview. I'm working on it, but uh, for the moment, he's resisting. And anyway, so this is a little Curious Cars update. This is going to be another one of these dual videos on Auto House of Naples as well. Uh, what can I tell you? We're going to keep rolling along. It's nice to have something modern and German to mix up the Yank Tank Brigade that we've had uh, for the last little while. I know some people love the old American cars, and some people would prefer to have a few Euro cars thrown in. So we've got this one today, and uh, it's pretty interesting. We'll get into that. Uh, but otherwise, things are rolling along. We've got a weekend in Sebring, a uh, members memorial or the championship, whatever the hell it is. Nice little weekend race. I think I fixed the car uh, where it was shutting off in, uh, in right-hand turns. Really annoying problem. Hopefully, I fixed it. If not, the hell with it. I bought a parts car uh, off a uh, website called Copart that sells, you know, junk. Uh, basically, stuff that's been wrecked and whatnot. Uh, it shocked me what I had to pay for an, a wrecked 03 Miata, but I did, and uh, it's here now, so God forbid uh, the car isn't fixed this weekend. I'm just going to throw everything in from the parts car uh, into the race car and be ready for turkey trot in November. So uh, anyway, things are coursing along. Peter's statue is still out with her tits flying. Uh, you know, the weather's still hot, but hopefully that changes and uh, everything's going to continue nicely. So uh, there it is. I'm going to get now into the auto house video so we'll give it a pause and start up again and as always thank you so much for having a look thank you for your patronage uh, i can't tell you what it means to me when i flip through the comments and see people posting and see that people are watching these things it really just cheers my heart and god knows that's not easy to do so thank you all very much for uh, for having a look and uh, here's a review of the 650 good morning <clears throat> <laughs> That's off to a good start already. It's the coronavirus whiskey. I have to say, I might have had a little too much this morning. Oh, I'm, I am probably only had a couple of shots. But either way, it's enough to ward off the virus, hopefully, and keep me rolling. Uh, today, I have this 2014 BMW 650i X-Drive Grand Coupe. I hope I didn't pronounce a D at the end of Grand because it isn't there. It's a Grand Coupe. Uh, thank you, BMW, for your interesting names. Uh, I will say this. I was prepared to make fun of this car, and I can't. It, it actually impressed me very much. Uh, at a certain stage, I think a bunch of BMW engineers got together. Uh, they had seen the CLS from Mercedes. They knew it was successful. Uh, they wanted to come up with something of their own. 
So, you know, 2009, 10, whenever it was, a bunch of these engineers got together, uh, sat down at a table, started scratching their head, sharpening their pencils, and said, how the hell can we make a 5 Series cost $115,000? And uh, they did come up with a way. And here it is, the Grand Coupe uh, X-Drive 650i, uh, particularly this one with the M Sport package and a bunch of other goodies that really bumps up the sticker price. I can't argue with the styling. You know, they really did have big shoes to fill, or at least to compete with, with the CLS, uh, what I call the German Jaguar, the Mercedes CLS. Very attractive car, and truly one of the first Benzes uh, that was designed with style over function in mind. And I suspect this car had the same kind of vibe. I mean, when you take the 5 Series, uh, it's a very utilitarian piece. So to make it sort of less practical uh, is kind of a ballsy move from BMW, but they did it. Uh, they took a 650 body. You know, the 650 was sort of the coupe and the convertible when it initially came out. They widened it and they stretched it out and they made it into one of these four-door coupes that are all the rage. So uh, you can sort of have your cake and eat it too. You've got a sports car, you've got a sedan, uh, you've got, uh, you know, basically what you need if you have a weird need that nobody else has, and that's what this car fulfills. Uh, it has frameless glass, so it's it got this sort of swoopy roof line and big long front end, and uh, a big V8 under the hood with plenty of pep and power. Uh, the M Sport gives you this aerodynamic kit and bigger wheels and fancier tires, and uh, it just ends up being a very sort of fun car. And that is what, um, what surprised me about it. When I got in it, when I drove it, uh, again, very prepared to sort of make fun of this thing. And I couldn't. I really enjoyed the car too much to be making fun of it now. Uh, it's everything that I like in a car. Uh, for one, it's not an SUV. Uh, for two, it's got a big V8. And uh, for three, it's very, very comfortable. So uh, I'll give it all of those things. So anyway, let's just get into it. I'm not going to be all wordy and roll on and on about all the death animals around me. Peter's goats are somewhere threatening, I'm sure. The birds, the whatever else. It's all coming together, but we're going to ignore it. So in the trunk, we have a big trunk. Nice thing for a sedan. But of course, it's based on the 5 Series, so it should have a big trunk. I don't know what this thing is here. Let's see that. So absolutely appears to be nothing except a little place to open up. Uh, but anyway, nice big trunk, everything proper in there, and uh, you'll be able to fit your infants, your toddlers, your AK-47s, your crates of tear gas or hand grenades. Uh, whatever it is you decide to carry with you is going to fit in there, and that's fine. Uh, I also love the way it opens up by flipping up this BMW emblem, which also doubles as a uh, place for the rear camera to hang out. You can uh, see it in there, so uh, very nifty styling from BMW. Sorry for all the mist. Have a look under the hood. I checked this earlier. This isn't one of these ridiculous BMWs where you have to pull the hood release twice. It actually does have a release under there. So there it is, 4.4 liters of twin power turbo power, uh, 445 horsepower, about 450 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it's, you know, I've never been a fan of BMW 8 cylinders, but I gotta hand it to this one. It's exceptionally uh, lovely. I mean, it has a terrific exhaust note, very fun to drive, lots of pep, lots of instant throttle response, and uh, just a, a genuine joy. And from what I read and from what I've seen, they actually hold up pretty well. Uh, people have been quite pleased with the reliability of these things. So maybe BMW finally got their shit together and started building good eight cylinders. Uh, I certainly hope so, because uh, God knows they're uh, moving away from those inline sixes now, which is what they did the best. And uh, hopefully they can pick it up by building a good eight cylinder. But uh, that's made into an eight speed uh, Steptronic automatic transmission, uh, user shiftable, very nice and sporty. And because this is the X drive. It goes through an all wheel drive system that keeps you planted to the ground. So, uh, all very lovely. Uh, also, being this uh, lighting package thing it's got, you can see it's got very fancy LED headlamps with surrounds, uh, the little halo things that are kind of BMW trademarks, and down low it has uh, LED fog lamps and uh, the shadow line uh, kidney grills up front. So, uh, very, very handsome car uh, all around, I have to say. 
Lovely. And there's a BMW. What does this say here? Connected drive. Everywhere you look, there's some crap written on here that's kind of interesting. So, uh, in the back, uh, here's where you get your coupe thing. You've got room for two adults. Your uh, two Canadians are going to be fairly chipper, uh, even if they're tall and that has this low roof line. Apparently, they put the seats low enough that it doesn't affect them too much. So, uh, they're going to be fairly happy in there. Uh, you also get your rear air conditioning controls, rear heated seats. You might need that in Edmonton. Uh, you've got uh, a fantastic little place to put a Glock 9mm or some other variety of handgun. Uh, you've got uh, some cup holders as well, very nice. And of course that is also a pass-through into the trunk if you have long cargo like skis or sniper rifles. Uh, you also have these power activated uh, sunscreens on the back, uh, also the rear window. Uh, and a Alcantara headliner overhead with a uh, map light. So uh, your rear seat passengers are going to be pretty chipper back here. Uh, if this car is used as a transport for some sort of mafia don in Eastern Europe, uh, he will actually be just fine back there. Uh, he's not going to be too uh, filled with complaints at all and will be able to drive around with good cheer. Also, you know, I have to say the leather in this car, it's got some sort of full leather package where they wrap basically everything in this sort of beautiful leather. Uh, reminds me of 80s Porsches, honestly. Uh, their full leather package in those, and it's quite nice. The contrasting stitching and the lovely stretched leather. Uh, BMW did a beautiful job on the fit and finish, and that's pretty cool, actually. The way it's got Grand Coupe written on this sort of, uh, you know, back uh, jam thing, and then you close it and you can still see it through the window. Pretty nifty stuff. Uh, the, uh, again, sorry for the mist, but eh, what are you gonna do? Uh, it has a glass roof, and that does vent. It doesn't go back, but it does vent. <coughs> Excuse me, same story up front. Beautiful wrapped leather and contrasting stitching on the door panels. Love the frameless glass, so uh, when you put uh, <clears throat> you know, the window down or open, you don't have a big frame to contend with. Uh, it doesn't have a you know missing B-pillar, so it's not wide open on the sides, but it's still pretty damn cool. All your power window stuff there. Uh, this has the sport seats with lumbar and arch support and back support and head support and toe massage and whatever else they have. All very nice memory, lots of buttons to play with, and all very cool stuff. Hop in and fire it up. All right, so you see we're immediately greeted with all these uh, empty black displays. Uh, foot on the brake, got the key in my pocket, I hit start, stop, and we're going to get all this Starship Enterprise stuff coming to life. Let's get a little AC on as well. It's hot as balls around here. Oh, God, when the good weather comes, I will be very, very happy. Turn off our defrost. All right, there we go. That's going to be a little, little chilly air coming out, which is nice. Again, look at the way this beautiful leather sort of wraps up into the dashboard, into the Alcantara headliner, uh, all the way around to the other side. It's all dusty because our detailer sucks, but there it is. Uh, it's just lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, there it gives you that engine compartment hot warning. Whenever you open the hood, if you've been driving the car, it tells you that uh, you've been driving the car and the engine is hot, so be careful. You know, don't open up coolant tank or something. Well, no shit. God, the lawyers have to run everything today. Can't even check your hood without a lawyer nagging you in a BMW. Uh, you got this nice big giant screen. Uh, here you see a very fancy looking uh, satellite image, nav view, all very poncy and lovely. Uh, you can get into your different medias, your uh, you know, your CDs, or whatever the hell a music collection is, external devices, probably Bluetooth audio uh, that is, and uh, you can get into your tones and whatnot. Uh, you can also go into radio that gives you AM, FM if you're an old school guy like me or satellite radio, uh, which we have now. What do we have? George Thurgood. Yeah, that's not bad for a Thursday morning. Yeah. Don't cheer me up. So there it is, all very nice stuff, and uh, a lovely big screen full of all sorts of modern Instagram, TikTok, 
tumbler, whatever it is, all the snowflakes need, they're going to be able to get through this screen and, and amuse themselves. Uh, you can also get into vehicle settings uh, or vehicle info. Uh, here you can have sport displays, which is kind of cool. Uh, that gives your power and torque as you're driving around. Uh, you can get into your onboard info, whatever the hell that is. Uh, trip computer, basically, although here's another trip computer. So we've got double trip computers and uh, vehicle status tire pressure monitors, engine oil level, all this stuff. You can get it all through here. Even your damn owner's manual is up here. You can search by pictures. That sounds safe while you're on the highway. Uh, also, your instrument cluster appears to be all digital. You've got some sort of little flicky things there, but otherwise all the displays are digital. And they're kind of cool and they're neat. And when you change from your settings, like uh, here's your Comfort Plus, your Eco Pro. Now we're blue because blue is eco. Charge and power and efficient dynamics. Uh, you get into comfort, it changes again to sort of a reddish thing. Uh, then we can get into another comfort. Then we can get into a sport uh, where all your little ticky mouse things are gone. And uh, as you drive, it's just going to give you the one number that you're going. So it's all kind of cool shit. Uh, and then uh, Sport Plus, where it's going to turn off the traction control and let you kick out the tail end. At least it would in a two wheel drive. I don't know if it will in all wheel drive. Uh, you've got this very fancy M Sport steering wheel uh, with big flappity flap paddle shifters, multi function crap here. Uh, you've got um, audio control, voice command on it, phone answering, mode for stereos, cruise controls. Uh, down here you've got all your driver assistance stuff. Uh, this gives you your, uh, what the hell is this? This is the uh, blind spot warning. Uh, this is going to be your active lane assist, or no, that's frontal collision warning, intelligent safety. That all comes up in the heads-up display, too. If you're tailgating a car, it shows you another car in your heads-up display. Uh, this is going to give you your uh, uh, lane departure. And uh, then this, uh, I think you have to be moving. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, that turns on and off the heads-up display, uh, which when it's just doing whatever it normally does, it gives you the uh, speed limit using navigation. I guess it figures out what... So the speed limit in Peter's driveway is 30, which sounds accurate. That's about how fast he parks, and uh, also your miles per hour currently. Uh, this is a heated and uh, power steering column, uh, all telescopically adjusted. Let's get out of Sport Plus for a minute. It's going to go into normal Sport. Nice, thick leather steering wheel with fat little grippities at the 10 and 2. Lovely BMW style. Oh shit, now I've hit the button on the shifter. And let's get this on. Seatbelt. Uh, down here you've got all your climate control stuff. Dual side, of course. You've got your hot seats hot, your cool seats cool. Auto manual. I mean, you really do need to be Stephen Hawking to figure out some of the hieroglyphics on this car. It's like it's, you know, built by engineers for engineers and to confuse other engineers. Uh, you've got all the sort of lovely leather wrapped around from the dash down into here, down into the center console. Real sucker for leather dashes. Uh, your iDrive with all the surrounding buttons, nice stuff. Uh, your Steptronic shifter, uh, again, with more convoluted hieroglyphics designed to confuse anyone with an IQ under 100, so poor Dalton, the detailer, won't be able to move this thing. Uh, you can turn off your traction control, you can run through the different settings, which are quite uh, uh, significant. So if you go into Sport, it tunes the engine, it tunes the suspension, uh, it really does change the dynamics of the car. Uh, this is a hill descent type feature, I believe. This will change all the different camera views, front, side, turn off the parking monitor. Uh, an electronic uh, emergency brake, something nobody ever wanted, but BMW has provided. And uh, of course, a nice big area here. Snap in adapters for your old uh, phones and whatnot. Uh, and also, of course, a lovely place to put another Glock 9mm. So. Uh, up here you've got a self-dimming mirror with home link. You've got BMW's ridiculous Kojak bubble. Uh, if you want to pull someone over, you've got that nice Alcantara headliner and a lovely big glass roof, <clears throat> which you could vent by, uh, well, let's get that back. I think you have to just push it up. Yeah, so there you go. That's an open sunroof in BMW 650 world. I keep doing that. Let's uh, get that back down like that. Uh, we're going to leave that open and go for a spin. I'm going to leave it in sport, but I'm not going to shift it manually. 
All right, in fact, when I take her right here, the sun's gonna go wonky, so I'm gonna pause it to get to the end of the road, uh, hang her right on, uh, on uh, Collier Boulevard, and uh, we'll pick it up there. All right, so we're in sport pause. It's supposed to go zero to 60 in like under five seconds. Let's test that. Oh, listen to the sound from that thing. Yeah, I gotta say, it does pick up and move. <laughs> I mean, that was zero to 86 in uh, fairly short order. I'm gonna make a U-turn here and we'll try that again. Uh, but uh, I love the sound of the V8 in this thing. I have to say, I'm a sucker for it. Uh, it really gives me sort of a vintage American muscle car feel. This is a real hot rod from BMW. I gotta hand it to them. Uh, they built this car for traffic offenders like me. Uh, it's got, you know, of course electric steering, but they've done a very nice job of making it feel uh, manual and hydraulic and, you know, give you nice feedback. Uh, it's uh, The shifting, I'm sure, is even better if you're paddling it, but uh, it shifts just fine on its own. Let's go into Sport Plus and see what that does. Right, here's a U-turn. Alright, here's a kick down. God, does it move. You know, what's interesting is we're absolutely flying there really quick, uh, but the car is so damn smooth, uh, it doesn't give you this sort of breakneck feeling of speed. It's just, man, what an what an Autobahn cruiser this thing would have to be. Uh, it would absolutely be amazing to drive on the highway. Well, I've driven it on the highway, and it is amazing. Uh, but, man, you can snap in and out of traffic like nothing. Uh, just really is a, a nice, powerful German Q-ship, this thing. A lot of fun to drive. So anyway, there it is. I'm going to leave you with that. I really appreciate you having a look. Uh, this is a fantastic car. Uh, 2014 BMW 650i X-Drive Grand Coupe. Uh, that's a mouthful, uh, but a uh, terrific car. It's uh, available at Auto House of Naples. <clears throat> you can give those guys a call at 239-263-8500 on the web at autohousenaples.com. Uh, hang tight. I'm going to do a little bit of a highway run on it, I think. I'll probably get that up there. And at the end of this video, we got the rabbit death match. Uh, so watch that and be afraid. Uh, thanks very much for having a look, and we'll see you soon with the next one. I'll give you a Sebring update when we're back. Uh, today is uh, this week, and the first time I'll be on the track with Peter. And I swear to God, I'm going to put him or his kid in the wall if they come at me. No mercy. None. That's just the way it goes. So thanks again. See you soon.